he always lived right here in the trailer park? The same trailer park. Were, were there this many trailers then, or what's been the changes? Oh, there was quite a few trailers, but they said them, there was no order to anything. Like, now we have set this right, we got to look right, and all that. Well, Rules and regulations. And, and what, what other big changes have happened on Anamory Island? One thing was the great roads we have now. Oh, the roads used to be so bumpy coming down. There was a back way we used to come through Palmasola. And it, it was really bad. But, you know, now it's smooth sailing all the way. Well, how about on the island? Well, yeah. there wasn't too much here. What I mean, it wasn't built up like it is now. Mm. There are a lot of wide open spaces. A lot of wide. wide open spaces on the island. Not, oh yeah, not that many houses. And since then, it's built up till there's not too much extra ground here. That's right. So, what what was the main thing that you enjoyed doing living here on the island? What did they do? You say? Yeah. What did you enjoy doing here on the island? Oh, the greatest thing was Shallow. We just practically lived on the beach. That was wonderful to us, you know. We found a lot of unusual shells. Oh, yeah. That's changed, hasn't it? And it was great. They used to um, go up before the road uh, went down to the end of the island, down to the south end of the island. They would start about, oh, the second street down. And that's where the road ended or finished. And they'd get out on the beach and walk clear down to the end of Anna Maria and take picnic lunches and, and shell all day. And, and then their husbands fished. And then sometimes they would meet them down on, this, on the bay side in a with a boat. And they'd come across the island, get in the boat, and ride home because <laughs> it's a long walk down there. Were you bothered by mosquitoes? Oh, yes. <laughs> that was the worst oh. thing of all was the mosquitoes, you know. They, uh, now we don't, you know, we don't have only mosquito once in a while. Mm -hmm. Don't have, well, they sprayed from the air, you know, after a while. But at first we had a, they had a fogger on a, an old Ford and they'd go around in the, in the park and fog, you know. It'd help a little bit. Oh, they was mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you open your windows or shut them when that fog or came Oh, we had to shut them. Shut the windows. Get rid of them in the house if you open them. Huh. Maybe them too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Fanny, what what uh, recollections do you have of the first years when you came down here? Oh, just about the same as Susan and I. We came. She was uh, her daughter was a friend of my niece, and so when we was going to come down in '48, or she said, "Well, you got to see my mother, so you can go where it's good fishing." So we went and met them, and, and that's how we come to Braden Beach, and we've been here ever since too. And it's like she said, there was the trailers were small and they were just parked every which way, some crossways like this, and then and there was one right out on the beach that was parked hanging away that way, that right on the beach where we are now. And we used to go shelling every day. <laughs> what did we, you do with all the shells? We would go and then. She'd come over, or I'd go over there, and she'd say, well, shall we go up and look for shells? And so we just like to walk along the beach, and, and it was real nice. What did you do with all the shells that you found? Well, I own an operator, owned Seneca Caverns in Bellevue at that time. And so after we were here for a while, I, we found out where we could get live shells that had the animals in. So we had, would go, and my husband and I, we'd go and look for those. And then I would, had to boil them. That's the only way I knew how to do it, boil them and take the animals out. Now I took a lot of those shells home and sold them 
at the cave. Oh, I see. And well, did you so, make jewelry or things like that from them? Pardon? Did you make jewelry or, or arts and crafts? No, and I never, I never done that. I was wasn't very artistic that way, but a lot of people, of course, that's what they done when they got them. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of fun. Of course, the north, the south end of the island, there wasn't any road. There was no bridge from across from Brain Beach to Longo Key. So we had, if you wanted to go to Sarah, up the other side of the island, which was Beer Can Island, we used to go out there. We'd have to go through Sarasota and come clear back to Longo Key in order to do that. But the uh, woods, the uh, south end of the island was all woods, was just a lane down in. And we'd walk along the beach in the summertime and go up there. And uh, then we'd come back through the center when it was where it was shady. And up at Longbow Key, we're in a when we was up there, a lot of times the tide was real low and we would go out in the flats in the bay and look for shells. And then we, the men would do, when we was going to do that, then we'd wait and one of the men would come down and get us and pick us up in the boat out there. But I remember right where the channel was where boats could go along the bay close to the shore. It was kind of deep. Susan was Susan was always frightened and I wasn't too brave on the eye. Thought well I said, well now it's just a little bit farther and then we'll be it's all right. But we were going where the water was clear up to our neck. Oh. And I thought many times how we risky we was if anything had happened. We probably both drowned. Did you ever see any big fish, any sharks, or anything like that? Pardon? Did you ever see any sharks in the water? No. No. Not a porpoise is in. Not them here. Mm. Well, living right here by the old bridge, did you? When it was the old wooden bridge, that's right. Did you get a lot of noise from that, or what? Here in the trailer park, did you hear people going back and forth across the bridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after after they didn't use it anymore, the people complained it was used to that noise, and they didn't like it then. You know how people are. <laughs> and it rumbled. It just yeah. You, know, you you could almost think you well you hear them hit each plank as they were going across. Yeah. yeah, that was that was some bridge. Do you remember any bad storms that hit the island back there in the 40s? Any, any bad storms? Not like that I remember. Uh, we had one that was supposed to hit right here, but uh, we all got off the island, but it was, it veered the other way and went, just hit the edge of the surface, so it wasn't we had we different times we have to get off of here because well last year in March we had to get off it was clear over the island. Mm -hmm. But that many years ago I, I don't remember any any bad storms the first few years we came down. But you have left. You you've left the island when the oh yeah the they, they they take real good care of it. The Red Cross, you know, takes you feeds you. One day, we, one time we was out for three days. The bridge was out. We couldn't come home, you know. At that time, Abe Lincoln was our manager, and uh, we got called up and he says, "Can we come home?" And he says, "Not yet. The bridge is not finished, so we had to just stay a little longer." But they made us comfortable. Of course, we slept on the floor. But then, you know, if you're young, you don't mind that. Yeah. You know. Pat, what other uh, remembrances do you have? Of well, family? when I first came down with my parents, I was uh, just out of high school. And, of course, working in the summer, why well, I, I just I traveled with them until I got married. And so it was just 
the first years of coming down and always come out Cortez. Of course, Manatee wasn't open, and or there wasn't Manatee, mm -hmm. and uh, come across the bridge. And there were several young people that lived in the area. They were all still in school. They were two or three years younger than I was, but that's who I hung out with down here. And uh, there, most of them live in this area still. Uh, but you know, it was just it was just a great place. What was there for the old people to do then? Not much. Not <laughs> much. Yeah, you know, go to the beach and and ride around. And uh, oh, we used to we used to ride down to Lido Key, <laughs> and that was uh, that was the one the one place. But uh, there really wasn't much down here. Did you ever go up to Anna Maria City to the community hall up there or the church? No, or no. Mm -hmm. No, we went up, of course, went up to Anna Maria, went up to the north end to be get out on the beach at the point up there, mm -hmm. and uh, but no, we never went to the community the center. City Pier? No. Yeah, city Pier. We just stayed right here in Braden Beach. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the driving up the island, the old road, before they had the road in Holmes Beach, and uh, they cut through, and and of course that year that we came down was the year that they made the movie with Esther Williams out here and so you know that was that was important. <laughs> then, Did you see anything <laughs> of that? Did you see about anything of making the movie? No, no, because I, I think it took place before we'd come down that fall. Mm -hmm. I think it was in the summertime. Mm -hmm. But of course it was, you know, made the place famous so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was exciting but no it's just it was just a nice area and Braden and Beach um, I think my mother and dad liked it here uh, fishing for him and the beach and shelling uh for her and we had uh we had the post office we had a drug store and we had a couple of meat markets here and a uh, camera shop and so there was just really all you needed was right in this area you didn't really have to go anywhere uh to do anything so it was it was really nice and the picture that was in the paper in front of the restaurant over here. I remember when they caught those Jewfish, because they caught two or three of those Jewfish, and uh, they uh, would pull them off of the along the water and the pier up onto the beach to get them get them out because they were so big, you know. And they were about three, four hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, and that was something to see. I mean, that, that's a big fish. So yeah. I knew when I seen that picture and I'm looking at it and I said, well, I think that's dead. And of course, I think I'm surprised there weren't more people around looking and they might have been, but not yeah. been in the picture because of course that would cause, uh, be an attraction to see from anybody down here. Because we always used to come up and watch fishing boats come in in the evening. That was one of the big things in the park, but they came in about five o'clock, didn't they? Five o'clock. The was little park would be there. There was a little dock, right? right across the road and that's where they'd come in and dock and of course everybody just come up to see the fish. So um, it wasn't exciting but it was nice. You know, it was a, it's a nice place to be. So did they have this rec hall here in the park at that time? Did you have uh, yeah, social? Oh yes, it, we always had a rec hall but mm -hmm. not fixed up like it is now. Mm -hmm. And how about Annie Silver Hall over there? It's Did always you, been there ever since I can uh, remember. Because I know it, that was noted for the shuffleboard. Uh -huh. They used to have shuffleboard picnics over there and played a lot of shuffleboard. Annie Silver, so there's a couple of people here in the park that before they moved into this park, they were in cottages and whatever on the island and they belonged to the Annie Silvers community center mm -hmm. and uh, of course now we go up and play bingo up there on Thursday nights but uh, but now we had a community hall here and they had a lot of activities going on uh, in here so dances they'd have dances on Friday night mm -hmm. bingo was a big thing and uh, they have and more coming in than we do now but they came from across the way they didn't live in the park people from out of the park would come in, so. No, it was, it's just a nice area. Did you uh, go to the Harvey Memorial Church? It's right up here on Church mm -hmm. Street. Yes, that's where Susan goes, and uh, my mother goes there, and 
has gone. She doesn't go lately, but she has gone there. Mm -hmm. I remember when it was built and when they moved it in there. And it was an old armor barracks to start it from. Start as an army in the, in the, in the it, war. It's and real. The people all donated their time, and it's, it's a real nice place with all, all leaded windows now, and it's. What, what then they have the church for they had yeah, they had church here so they had we church had in our here. rec hall oh, before they, they had, had a church place. over there oh, it's with so Reverend bad. Harvey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> who was the do you remember who the minister was? I know Myron Bonnell. Well, Reverend was, Harvey was the first one. That's it's called Harvey Memorial, you know, know, after him. Yeah. But oh we've had different ones. But now was with us for ten years. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have Reverend Walker. He's been here quite a oh, while. Yeah. We mostly have retired ministers because in the summer we have don't have very big crowds. We don't have very much money coming in. Mm -hmm. How many? How many belong to that church now? Do you know? Oh, I wouldn't say just exactly how many belong, but a hundred anyhow. Mm -hmm. At least some people just have. A, Membership here and membership back home, do you know? Associate membership down here. Yeah. It comes for the winter. They have potluck dinners there, and yeah, they, they have potlucks. And when Reverend Harvey was here, we always played cards over there. But uh, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but they still have their potlucks and their corn ones. Um, do you go up to Holmes Beach at all and to the shops or I'm, I'm sure that's changed a lot from the early days. Oh yeah, and I really don't remember what was up there in the early days. I just What? Up at Holmes Beach. Was that shopping how long has that shopping center been there, that little shopping center? I really don't remember. I We've don't, always I done business remember. at that bank uh, and ever since we've been on the island and uh First, we, you know, we go up there for different things because uh, we don't have much down here now, so we have to run up that way. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice area. I just like to be closer to the water. <laughs> <laughs> and you're close here on both sides. On both sides, that's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. That's uh, our. We're, we live out on uh, the bay side of the park, and so uh, we're right on the bay, and. Uh, but it's not that far to the Gulf. Do some of the people dock their boats there along the way? Yeah, they, the ones that have boats that want to, they have, we have spaces out in front. Mm -hmm. We used to have a little pier out there, and uh, it was taken away in one of the hurricanes that come up through this area. And so uh, now we have just a, like a walk along the seawall, and they tie up mm -hmm. there. And yeah, there's several of them. I have a, in fact, I, I think there's about 15 or 16 spaces out there, and they're all taken. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. Maybe just put this in the fridge. Excuse me. Sure. Was that running? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I don't know if there's any other things that you'd like to talk about as far as um, life here in the 40s and, and how it's changed. We hit the mosquitoes and I don't know if there was any other uh, nuisance <laughs> bugs or snakes. <laughs> snakes. Did you have any animals around? I know probably there were some raccoons. Oh yeah, we had a lot of raccoons. But we did have storms there, but it was mostly in the summer. And see, I never lived down here till just lately. All went all the year round. Right. And they had different hurricanes here, but of course it was we we had just come down the winter. We, we missed them, you know, mm -hmm. but we were just glad enough. But yeah, did the, the raccoons go around to the garbage cans in the park? Yeah, upset them, and and they then they got traps, and we they caught them. We don't want cats or dogs, but the cats is in now sometimes. Oh. But they don't want any of them around. We, You're not allowed to have a dog if you live in the park? No. Not a one. No, no okay. cats. Even a little tiny one, they won't oh. be Even a house dog. Yeah. But, 
they set traps for the raccoons and then have the county wildlife come out and they take them out mm -hmm. into the moonies. Well, I don't think there's as many now. As they used to uh, be. We haven't been troubled that much this, this season. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, the cats, and I guess they were going to set traps for them and, and so that they could take them. Because they're, they just roam around the park, you know. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, they're not. But other than that, other animals, I don't know of any other animals, and, and we don't seem to have snakes, thank heaven. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, have you seen any snakes around here in the summertime? They, they might come out more in the summer. No. They, at one time, there was one come up on the patio all curled up like this on Ninus patio. And they tried to come with a gun and shot it. Oh. But you don't see, like you'd think in a hot, climate like this we'd have a lot of snakes but mm -hmm. then, well, I guess they only come out every three months to eat <laughs> oh, you know so that, maybe I'm not there when they come out but. do you know what what year the trailer park was founded I don't know no do you no. how long was the park here before you come I you don't know? know I don't know how long I never thought about that but, uh, our first manager sure was Dale Newkirk and Dale knows Newcart, and that's much far back as I remember, you mm -hmm. know, that, and that was 45. Mm -hmm. There was a manager then. Oh, who was telling us about the carnival people? Oh, oh, Susan yeah. was telling, they, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. they, lived, they lived in here when we first when Now, we was first that the circus, the circus, well, or what? Yeah. There was to be no colored people on this island after the sunset. They had workers they had to get off. Yeah. You know, they had maids to come and work, but this was strictly no colored people. But now this, I guess, I don't think there are too many colored people in here. No, I don't think so. Either. I thought you said no, but, carnival. No, but carnival. Oh, people. yeah, the carnival people. We had a lot of them. But right? now, what were they with the Ringling Circus? or? No, they had, they was, they was here for the winter and then they was. They even come up to my town, you know. In the summer, they travel all around up there. Mm -hmm. But this year for the winter, and one woman she had a monkey in. <laughs> a monkey? They had yeah. a monkey in. And she would have it on her neck. shoulder all the time. And when the boats come in, you know, that was the greatest attraction of all. When the mm -hmm. boats come in at Friday, at five o'clock, we had two, two big boats out here. Of course, they're across the way now. We don't have any big boats, but uh, it was. Something and she was always there with her monkey, and it was a scratching and a going on, you know. <laughs> what what other carnival people were here? I mean, were they the fat man and the thin man? No, no, no. They were, they were mostly workers that uh, were running the games. Like if this, when you go to the county fair, yeah, and they have the carnival people set up the game tents and that, and most most of them, that's what they were, were the ones that run those game shows. And, well, you mean they lived here while they were working around in Florida? They, well, they lived here in the winter time because they didn't they didn't have the carnivals in the winter, mm -hmm. and then in the summer they traveled oh. all summer, and so they wintered down here. So that was the type. Yeah, there was a a variety of people in this park. Yeah, of course, there's still a variety, but I mean, they, <laughs> some of them were a little. A little on the shady side, I think. Uh -oh. <laughs> but some of them looked pretty good. Uh -huh. they, uh, they were. Anyhow, one of them married the manager's daughter, one of the carnival fellows. Oh, so yeah. how was that accepted? <laughs> yeah, that was. Oh, oh he was. A, he was a nice guy. Oh. He, he was a nice. Some guy. of them were. You know, they were he lives in Jacksonville now. Oh. <laughs> Still married. Still married. Oh. Done time in the Navy and has five children. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we we keep try to keep track of them. You know what's going on. I guess uh, people that are here now are from almost every state all over the country, or are they mainly just from the eastern? Uh, mainly from the Midwest, I would say. Oh. And then we have oh maybe five or six Canadian families, couples in here. And but Michigan and Ohio, Pennsylvania, Indiana. Most of them are retiring. Mm -hmm. Retired people. Yeah, you have to be 55 to right. to, to live in here to move in. Yeah. So so it's just a variety of them, but it's 
Midwest people. And the, the trailers, I guess when you own the trailer, mm -hmm. and then there probably isn't room for the brand anymore in there, is it? No, no, there aren't any spaces available in here for new trailers. Mm -hmm. uh, that we have, we have 90 spaces in here, and 87 of them are rentals, and so there's, uh, there's two spaces that they, let's see, there's 90 numbers and there's two spaces that aren't in here. I don't know why they missed these numbers. And then one is the manager's trailer mm -hmm. to, for the manager to live in. And so there's 87 rentals. But years ago, they had such small trailers when they set the park up that uh, you could have a lot more than when they graduated bigger with some of the bigger trailers would take up space of two mm -hmm. spaces. And so they lot, lost a lot of the spaces that way. But like she said, they just set them, you know, they just set them anyway, crossways or long ways. You'd have one going vertical and one going horizontal next to it. And so. Did you ever have any fires down here? Any of the trailers burn up? No. Nope. Blow away or anything like that? No. Luckily. When we first came, we paid $7 a month for our trailer, and we could leave it parked all summer for five dollars. Then they changed that. They said you got to pay the year round the same in the winter as you do in the summer. So that made people pretty mad, you know. But we, if you want to stay here, you do. You buy what they say, and uh, so. But we paid seven dollars, and now it's one hundred and eighty-five dollars a month. Oh. That's just I think <laughs> for progress. I don't know. Everything goes up. Inflation. <laughs> Over 48 years. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, we paid, what'd you pay, 15 when you first came? 12 15. 12 15 and had to pay $3 for me because I was the third person in the trailer. Oh. <laughs> so they charged extra for the uh, third person. And so, but that's the way. Everything's gone up mm -hmm. all over the island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everywhere else. <laughs> Anything else that you remember finding that you'd like to tell us about? Um, I don't know, of course, we had the trailers when we first came down, there was no bathrooms in it, you know, so we had our bathroom building here that was, one end was for the men, one end was for the women, and they had the showers in there, and then the laundry was in between. And, uh, and we had what the car. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead and tell. We had what, what they call the pot brigade, you know. We'd all have to bring our pots up there to empty them. <laughs> <laughs> One woman, she put hers in a big sack. She's kind of ashamed to carry it, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, the pot brigade. Uh, that was a good time to visit out here oh, <laughs> in the morning. The pots. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had one lady. She wouldn't carry hers when anybody could see her. To, she get up and come and emptied hers early in the morning, like four or five o'clock before everybody was up. Oh. And then go back home because she wouldn't carry where anybody could see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a time to visit. And yeah, man. it's a good time to get together, you know. <laughs> One time when we had high water, when we was here, we had a, our, we lived in them, we had a little travel trailer and it was right across from where we are now. And we had some friends come down from Ohio and so we said they could stay in that. So they did. So then we had this storm we had high water. And it was knee deep out in front of our trailer right over there on the drive. And this friend opened the door and and he said, Fanny, and I went for the door, and I said, yeah, and he said, well, you know? And I said, no, I don't know, and he said, I got to go. <laughs> and I said, well, I'll bring the bucket over and you can use that. <laughs> so I took it over. And so, 
At home, we always laughed about that. <laughs> you couldn't wait over to the bathroom. <laughs> Emergency. Oh. Yeah, we have great times when the water comes up high out here. Hey. We, well, we haven't had any this year. Didn't come up this year. But uh, last year and then a couple other times when we had that uh, high tide due to the moon, you know, and it came across the island. And, and it's usually, uh, oh, mid-calf deep. Does it ever come in the trailers? No. Thank you. They're all built up, aren't they? Block or so it, no. Where they had these cabanas that come yeah. in them. If they have the cabanas, no, they're not set up higher. Oh. Uh, just wheel, wheel height is all. Oh. And uh, but just luckily it hasn't come up. That storm last year, when they were calling for that high tide, and it was supposed to be five foot high, it should have come into the trailers. And uh, we had put everything up as high as we could inside, and luckily it it didn't develop. But uh, the one hurricane they had that one year, it came right under the floor of the trailer, outside, just mm -hmm. under the floor. It's the highest it's ever been. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, but the cabanas, it does come inside the cabanas and on the patio. We get out and wait around and check everything out. And <laughs> it's party time, I think. Yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always oh, used to have hurricane parties. Uh oh. Really? Hurricane struck and everybody get together and somebody to ask for a party, but they yeah. say it's not really a very good thing to do. No, I don't think so. No. Hurricanes, I'm uh, I'm leery of hurricanes, but you do have time to find to leave. Yeah. I mean it's uh, uh, you can you can get away from them because they're so well in advance, but uh, no, I wouldn't sit one out and and have a party. <laughs> been through a couple of them. Susan, do you have anything else to tell us about in the 1940s and how life was here? You must have eaten a lot of fish. Oh, I'd fix them every which way. I'd take a grouper and boil it and then I'd take a fork and mash it up and put egg and cracker crumbs in it, just like salmon patties, you know. We just eat fish all the time because there's so many fish. I, my husband liked him every which way, but I, I, I didn't care too much for him. Oh. I can eat him, but you know. Yeah. But they was everybody had a lot of fish, and, and we didn't we didn't have any seawall out here in the beginning. There was no seawall out there at all. But the water, my husband would tie his boat to the tree right there by us, push the boat out, and jump in with shallow, you know. Oh, yeah. and way go. But now, you know, it's different. You've got places for each one to dock their boats and tie up. And now, you live here year-round now? No, yes, how, I have. How long have that been? For about, uh, oh, about the last five years. Oh, longer than that. But I, but oh, usually, yeah, I go, than that. usually I go home every year for, you know, about two or three weeks, mm -hmm. see the folks, you know, back in Ohio, in Pennsylvania. But, do you mind the hot summers? Well, it was pretty hot last summer. We had 92 pretty all the time. We, we got air conditioning, and you know, you just stay in when it's real hot. But of course, you didn't have air conditioning back in the early days. Well, I don't think you could live down here without air conditioning. I know, but back in the 40s, did you have air conditioning? Oh no, we didn't have it then. No. Oh. oh, we just had the flies and the mosquitoes and all that kind of stuff. Just lived with us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been nice visiting with you ladies and hearing about the park and it seems like it's a nice place to live. Well, they enjoy it. Yes, it's it's a great it's a great place to live and most of the people are pretty great here. They help one another. Mm -hmm. Even the men, you know, if anything wrong now this morning there's one boat sunk and the man's sick and everybody's out of helping him. That's it's just a friendly park. Mm -hmm. It's a community. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we'll we'll sign off and, and thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice talking to you.